Hey everybody, here's the uh, third update of my 2012 garden. It's uh, June 26th. Uh, tomatoes are... Got a couple starting to ripe. There's a Cherokee purple starting to turn color. Got a lot of um, not super huge ones. This one that on the beefsteak. I got like over 20 tomatoes on this one plant. I think it's just not enough energy to produce a large one. But I got a couple of large tomatoes on the beet, on the um, Cherokee purple and the hillbilly potato leaf. And I got a brandy wine yellow starting to ripen, but it has quite a bit of blossom in rot on the bottom. I think in my case it was um, not enough water at one time. And I'm starting to get some squash here. Got some buttercups in there. Got a number of pumpkins. I got a, looks like, a large, one of the giant pumpkins has maybe got pollenized. So I'm going to have to pull out some of these onions and put some hay down to give it a spot to grow. And there's another butter cup and corn is kind of small here doesn't get as much sun problem this part of the garden is not enough sun a number of watermelons here and got a couple of cantaloupes a couple of these kind of volunteered I don't know how if I put the seed or I don't know how the seed got there but I got about three uh, looks like pickling cucumbers, which is fine. I moved a couple of biscotti squash over here. They were on the other side and they weren't getting sun. Got a number of pumpkins, as I said. This is uh, my biggest one right now. That's a regular jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. And a couple more over here. Mostly long pumpkins. Uh, I got one nice round one there. I don't know if it's going to get real big. It has sort of a short neck on it and those usually don't get very big this one over here has a nice long neck on it so that will probably get a good size and this one as well there we go and got some of them trailing back here the one problem with all these bushes and hedges uh, doesn't get a lot of sun this giant pumpkin here has a flower which should have opened uh, yesterday it did not though I don't, it's not getting sun in here so it's probably not going to do anything here but it's coming out in the sun area and there's one uh, female flower right here so hopefully I get one out of there these are the giant pumpkins but I'm not gonna really baby them and put a drip system and all the extra fertilizer so they're not gonna get huge but I'll get a good sized one out of it and the beans are just loaded. See that it's got to be over 100 beans. I'm going to probably harvest them um, next day or two. Get a large amount out of that. The other squash, not doing really great. It doesn't get too many hours of sun here. Um, got one zucchini I harvested already. I got a yellow squash. I got a number of plants there. It's a little bit root down there so I'm gonna have to wean probably take I might move one to the other side where I get more sun and um volunteer tomato is just starting to get a couple ripe tomatoes and kind of got this stuff just growing everywhere doing really good this year weather's been kind of um, hot but not super hot that really helps with squash and we'll take a look at the other garden. Here's the grapes. Uh, starting to ripen, but a lot of different sizes, different um, ripeness times on the grapes. Some are ripe, some are still green, so a little bit of um, rust spots this year. No powdery mildew though, but getting these rust spots really bad. And over here, got a number of cucumbers, corn, uh, the ones I bought in seedlings didn't get really big, but the ones I planted on seed, very big. Those are really nice looking. They're about six foot. Um, really nice looking um, husk there. And 
And the cucumbers here. Number of cucumbers. Pickling. Don't have a lot at one time. I want to make some pickles, but it's not enough at one time. We'll see in the future. I got the skitty squash down here. I'm trying to determine when it's right. Um, I looked around. Well, close to wait till the stem there turns um, brown and the tentacle, the thing that grabs on there, turns brown. Ain't done that. It's got a little green on it, but I'm a little concerned because it's um kind of turns a little orangey. So if anybody has any suggestions or anything, uh, let me know. Because I know if you let them overripe, they're not really good or really edible. Got some more cucumbers here. Got a regular one, but that one supposed to be a regular cucumber, but it looks more like a pickling cucumber. So, go to the other side here. And got peppers. I got a number of um, cantaloupe. About three large ones and a couple ones might have gotten colonized. Got to wait a couple days and see. Peppers doing real good. A lot of Anaheims. I got one the other day. Put it on the grill. It's real good. Um, the rust spots on the some of the tomatoes. These are the yellow pear. Romas. Gotten a number of romas, but they're not very large. I got some squash down here, which is just shaded out, so they're not doing really great. I was hoping they'd get take off a little bit before the tomato plants got big, but they they're kind of slow growing. Those are um, mini jacks. They're getting some sun in there, so hopefully they produce something. And sliding them trail around. That one Boston marrow squash is um starting to get out of there so get some more sun it will take off and i moved one biscuity squash here where i had the tomatillo that wasn't doing anything and the eggplant is getting more sun so it is starting to take off really quick now and the corn this corn is ready to harvest i i gotta check in one of these it's starting to dry out but don't feel real like it's quite got the feel yet. I'll have to inspect one of them soon. I got them in different phases here, different times, so I don't get everything at one time. And these onions are kind of finishing up. I'm going to pull them out and put a, another block of corn here. And that's about it this time. See you next time. Thanks. I'm Todd. Bye.